As the Out of This Pre-Game Show continues, well, listen, who else but John Pot Van to come in and visit with us on uh, such an occasion as his brother's uh, announced retirement and last game here at the Nassau Coliseum. Let's go back, Potsy. We've had fun over the years, and we'll share it with some of our viewers and all of them who are watching. Um, 1973, Terry Crisp goes to the Philadelphia Flyers. You come here, and a lot of people felt that it was kind of a hedge. It was kind of an insurance policy. The world hockey was into, into its uh, starting stages and they were afraid Dennis might jump to the world hockey, and what did you think of all that? Well, a lot of people have a lot of opinions, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, there's no doubt in my mind I never would have been here had it not been for Denny Potvin <laughs> wanting to come here, and uh, they acquired me for Terry Chris for that reason, no doubt. Did you ever talk to Dennis about that or his agent? Well, I've been thanking him for the last 16 <laughs> years or so, and I hope to continue to do it for a few more. <laughs> I'm still doing the radio, you know. Well, of course you are. <laughs> and, and, and you could probably have held Tory up maybe for a little bit more had, had you known then what you know now. Well, exactly. I mean, uh, I probably could have strung it out for another seven, eight years because <laughs> Denny kept on playing, and I could have said to Denny, just make sure that you tell him that as long as you're playing, i got to have a place on the bench. Well, listen, when it comes around to Tory, we've all had a lot of fun with Bill Tory, the general manager, and uh, you've retired as an Islander, I retired as an Islander, and now and your brother's retiring as an Islander, and isn't there some kind of a cliche that we've all heard, and I'm sure that Dennis has heard, that, that Bill used to, you know, kind of echo? Well, he certainly echoed, uh, you know, a couple of nice things, and when it comes down to, you know, it's at the end of the line, uh, I asked Denny, you know, a couple of times, uh, you know, how did you know that you were at the end of yours? And he gave me his explanations, and that's what he's ex been explaining in the press for the last couple of months, but... Uh, <laughs> he just confronted me and asked me to come in the office and said, John, you can keep on playing like that, but not here. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was more or less, yeah, you mean to yeah. tell me that uh, I've had it? And he says, well, you can keep on playing, but he says, maybe somewhere else. There's no place on this team for you. And I had to make the decision at that time. Sure, you Do can. I want to move somewhere else or stay on Long Island? Well, yeah, you made the right decision. We're all glad you did, heaven's sake, uh, <laughs> uh, with, the, with the radio reporting and, uh, and all the things you've done for Long Island and still continue to do. Tell us now, your brother, uh, brother Bob is here, and uh, he is the oldest. Then you? Correct. Bobby, we have three brothers. Some people out there might not know, but uh, there's uh, my older brother, Bob, and myself, and then Denny. Denny being the youngest. And he I'm was Baby Bear. Baby Bear, and he I was, was Papa, Papa Bear, Bear yeah. and uh, Greg Cameron Gunner, our yes. good friend, was Mama Bear. Yeah. And Bobby is the oldest in the family. Bobby's yeah. 42, I'm 39, and while we're at it, Denny's 34 and a half or whatever. Brother Bob is a pilot in the Canadian Air Force, is that right? He was, for eight years, yeah. a test pilot for the Royal Canadian Air Force, and He's here tonight. My mother's here. So we're going to have a real good time. And I hope the results of the game are the same. Bob <laughs> played hockey? Bob played hockey, but not professionally. He wasn't good enough. He had all the brains in the family. When did you, when did you know Dennis was going to be as good as, uh, as he turned out to be? I, I think uh, I was playing junior hockey. I was playing for the Ottawa 67s. And we had the worst team in the, NHA, in the uh, junior A at that time. We had won six games in 48. And for the last 10, 12 games of the year, they asked my parents if they would allow Denny to play junior hockey. And uh, Denny at that time was only 13. So I had been quite busy playing my own games. I hadn't seen him play as much as my parents had. And they were telling me how big he was and how, you know, I knew how big, but how good he was. And Denny at 13 started to play with the Ottawa 67s and uh, he really did very well. So I knew that his chances were very good at that point. One quick uh, question, was, it, uh, was there ever an envy, in a, an envy for you as far as having, uh, having a brother that was uh, younger and was that good? And this is quite honest, Ed, and, I, and I've often thought maybe there's something wrong with me, but I never ever envy that he was better than I. I've always enjoyed watching him play. We've had some great times together, both when you were playing. You taught us an awful lot, and you helped us and Denny along and myself. I never had any envy, and I was very proud of him, and I'm very proud that he's had such a great career. Well, we're all very proud of both pot fans, of course, on tonight when Dennis retires. But with you, John, nice to know you're still around. Please stay around. You make it all much brighter for all of us. Thanks a lot, Andy. Stan Fisher is now going to look inside Dennis Potvin and his New York Islanders, along with the Washington Capitals. Stan? Thank you, Ed. 